I created Ted Lasso in Football Manager to see how many trophies he can win or how many times he can get sacked. Now, Ted Lasso is the manager of fictional team AFC Richmond in the Apple TV series. As they don't actually exist, I asked you guys where he should start his career. And around 4,216 of you said AFC Wimbledon. As for his attributes, in season one of the show, he's presented as having no footballing knowledge at all. As a result, he scores pretty low on coaching but he's best known for his positivity and mentality, so scores very highly there. But for his first season in charge, he's got a tough gig at Wimbledon, as they're only expected to finish mid-table following relegation from League One. Well, I guess it would be difficult if you didn't believe, as Ted has guided Wimbledon to promotion via the playoffs after coming from behind to beat Gillingham on penalties. What a season. They only missed out on automatic promotion by two points and were pushed along by league's top scorer, Josh Davison. League One is going to be a huge step up though, with Wimbledon favourites for relegation. But oh my word, they've done it. They've avoided relegation by two points. Amazing work. And they had an incredible final six games of the season, winning five of them to ensure they didn't get relegated. Until those final few games, they were dead set on relegation. The thing is though, Ted didn't do that. Ted wasn't there. Now you see, in February of 2024, Ted left Wimbledon having agreed terms to become the Motherwell manager. So actually, Ted left just after this draw to Shrewsbury. And since Ted's first game in charge of Motherwell from the St Mirren game, they've done pretty well, only just missing out on the Scottish Cup final, losing to Aberdeen. And he's guided them to 7th place in the table, quite comfortably as well, so he's done a pretty good job with Motherwell. And his attributes are starting to improve a little bit as well, but my favourite thing about Ted Lasso so far is that he plays a 4-4-2. Ladies and gentlemen, England will be playing 4-4-4. But heading into season three, Ted has worked a miracle, guiding Motherwell to be the best of the rest in Scotland, coming third place and securing Europa League football, with his striker Jake Beasley, the top scorer in the league. So already in this short career, we're going on a European adventure with Ted Lasso and Motherwell, which was very short lived as they lost in the qualifying rounds to Sparta Prague. But that does mean they qualify for the Europa Conference League instead. But Ted never got to take charge of any of these European games. And that's because the Scottish Football Writers Manager of the Year has taken the Schalke job, guiding them to 11th place in the Bundesliga this past season. This was actually Schalke's first season back in the Bundesliga. The manager who got them relegated and then back promoted again, left to become the manager of Hoffenheim. So it was quite a ballsy move from Ted, leave Motherwell and European football to a struggling Schalke side who had no guarantees of being in the Bundesliga come the end of the season. But how long will the success last? Surely at some point, he is going to fall off a cliff or he's going to win his first major trophy with Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg offered him the job in February of 2027, midway through season five, and he went on to win the DFB Pokal with them. A lovely 2-0 win in extra time against RB Leipzig. And you know what they say after you win your first trophy. Like the video and subscribe to the channel please. And it could have been two trophies as he took Wolfsburg to the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League only to lose to Everton in the semi-finals, the eventual winners of the tournament. Thing is though, Wolfsburg had a pretty tricky league season until Ted joined the club. They finished 14th and he's going to have a monumental challenge in season six to try and get them in the top half. Or he just makes really easy work of it and guides them to a Champions League place by coming fourth in the Bundesliga. We did a similar video a few weeks ago when I made the best manager possible in the game and Ted Lasso is outperforming him so far. Sadly, they bowed out of the Europa League at the quarterfinal stage, but Ted is working wonders with a 4-4-2 with a really good team. So if anyone is going to be able to challenge Bayern Munich for the Bundesliga title, it might be Ted Lasso and Wolfsburg. Although it was an early exit from the Champions League, losing the knockout playoff round to Monaco on penalties, as well as losing the third round of the DFB Pokal. But this is Ted Lasso, he is a miracle worker, and he guided them to second place in the Bundesliga and went on to win the German Players Manager of the Year. Sadly though, in season eight, the 4-4-2 might not be working as well as Wolfsburg dropped down to a lowly fourth place in the Bundesliga. Although this time around, they did get to the quarterfinals of the Champions League and then Ted went on to win his second DFB Pokal, beating Bayern Munich in the final. All of his cup and playoff wins so far have all come via extra time. But I think Ted might be getting a little bit greedy 
He went on to win the German Super Cup before then leaving Wolfsburg in December to become the manager of Dortmund. To then only finish in fifth place behind Wolfsburg. And up until now, Ted is used to that winning feeling. Well, this time around, he lost the DFB Pokal final on penalties to Borussia Mönchengladbach. Not really a season to remember for Ted, but I love the fact that he's making Dortmund play 4-4-2. So heading into season 10, the pressure is on because Dortmund are going to want results. And if they finish outside the top four again, Ted could be gone. Although, of course, he's not gone because he's taken Borussia Dortmund to second in the Bundesliga table. I keep trying to build some tension here by saying, oh, he might be gone, but he just keeps doing amazingly well everywhere he goes every season. This man is just a machine. Although he has just lost a second DFB Pokal final in a row to Borussia Mönchengladbach, so he's not completely perfect. But in season 11, at the third time of asking with Dortmund, he finally picks up his third DFB Pokal trophy. Three cup finals in three years, by the way, is really impressive. But he just can't secure that Bundesliga trophy. Coming second in season 11, season 12, and season 13. At this stage, I don't think there's many people who hate Bayern Munich as much as Ted does. But despite not winning a Bundesliga title yet, Ted, in his first 10 years of managing in Germany, has won five trophies, which is wildly impressive. But in season 14, everything changes. Ted has moved to Tottenham, the reigning champions of the Europa League. The previous manager, who's had a wild career, moved on to PSG, allowing Ted to add another trophy to his cabinet in the European Super Cup beating Champions League winners Napoli, who managed to beat Lille on penalties. I'm starting to think that Ted Lasso's career is not the strangest part of this video, but Ted guided Spurs to second in the Premier League, three points behind Newcastle, who made it five different teams to win the league in seven years. His second season wasn't much to write home about, as Spurs dropped to third in the table. And then in his third season in charge, they dropped even further, down to fifth place in the Premier League table, missing out on Champions League football. How has Ted got this so wrong? And why is the 4-4-2 just not working anymore? At least in the Premier League, because they just went on to win the FA Cup. So in season 17, his fourth in charge of Spurs, it's really make or break. If he can't deliver results with them, then he may well get the sack. The thing is though, we know that Ted Lasso thrives under pressure. So much so, he wins a Premier League title for Tottenham. Although only on goal difference ahead of Everton. And importantly for Spurs fans, it's their first title since 1961. But he's also made it a domestic double, winning the Carabao Cup 2-0 over Newcastle. But the good times keep coming, because Ted's gone on to win a second successive title with Tottenham. And then a second successive double, winning another Carabao Cup. And then he puts the crown on top, winning the Champions League. This man is unreal. So Ted is on top of the world right now. And what do you do when you're on top of the world? That's right, you leave. In fact, the day after Ted won the Champions League, he leaves Tottenham to join Man City. Now, this must be one of those events where you get off the job midway through the season and you say, I'll take it, but only at the end of the season once I finish the job off with Tottenham in this example, because the timing is impeccable, but he leaves Tottenham the day after winning the Champions League. And it's not like Man City are particularly good in this either. Last season, they finished eighth place, 24 points off Tottenham. But there must be some method to the madness because Ted's gone on to win the Europa League with Man City beating Marseille in the final. And he's also taken that 24 point gap to just five points, bringing Man City into second place behind Tottenham winning their third title in a row. But even the season afterwards, Tottenham was still too strong as they went on to win their fourth title in a row. But that would never deter Ted Lasso because in season 21, he finally gets back to winning ways with Man City, winning his third Premier League title and City's first title in 10 years, just one point off the all-time points record. He then went back to back, winning it in season 22 and made it a hat-trick in season 23. Ted also managed to win a couple more league and FA Cups, as well as the Club World Championships, securing his place at 17th in the Worldwide Hall of Fame. But all good things must come to an end. After three titles in a row, Spurs got back on top pushing City into second, and the following season, down to fifth. And this wasn't good enough 
for the Man City board. On May 21st, 2047, Ted Lasso was removed from his role as the first team manager. But at the age of 71, Man City clearly felt his talents were needed elsewhere, as he was redeployed to be the director of football. And whilst Ted retired five years later in 2052, Man City never went on to win another title. But Ted managed a staggering 61% win ratio over 1,300 games, collecting 22 trophies across 25 years to go down as one of the greatest managers of all time. So from one great to another, can a goalkeeper become one of the greatest goal scorers in the Premier League? To find out, the video is on screen right now.